I'm Armin Cuccinello, and I'm here today in the hip New Jersey studio with Abe Caspo, the producer of A Thousand and One Journeys, The Arab Americans. So this is an exciting documentary, uh, and I understand that it's a first for you and also for the Arab American community because it's the first um, documentary or film that, that's chronicling the immigration experience of Arab Americans to the United States. Um, can you tell us a little bit about it and, and you know, what, what, what got you interested? In? Yeah. So I, I mean, I, I grew up in Syria and I came here in 1980 mm -hmm. as an immigrant. And, you know, certainly as, um, you know, as I grew up here in the United States, I basically grew up American. Um, and there was a lot of misperceptions uh, that, that I faced back then, and certainly we're seeing a lot of those uh, you know, right. come forward now. But the, the Arab American experience and, and this particular film chronicles almost 200 years of Arab American um, contributions to, mm -hmm. to the American fabric. What was your goal in making this film? So, I, I mean, I think that there's, um, you know, my hope for the film is to show the uh, the positive side of, of uh, Arab Americans and the contributions that have been made uh, and, and really um, uh, connect the histories, mm -hmm. right? Because I think that there's a disconnect in the, uh, in, in the way we think about Arab Americans because of largely what's happening in the media, what's, uh, what's happening in our political discourse. But the fact of the matter is, you know, just like the, the Polish American experience, the Italian American experience, the Jewish American experience, you know, people come to the United States uh, in hopes of a better life. And those stories, certainly for Arab Americans, go across the board. I mean, the number one takeaway for me would be that this is an American film. This right. is an American story, and it really highlights the diversity of who we are as Americans, right? So, you know, you know, my, my kids are half Italian, you know, half Syrian, but they're really American, right? Right. And so, as we as as we go out and as we deal in business, in politics, in uh, you know, in commerce here here in the U.S., uh, we have to know who our neighbors are. And I think what makes America great is our ability to have these conversations right. um, in a multi-ethnic, multi-religious, multi-faceted society. Uh, is there anything in the Arab immigrant story that's particular to New Jersey? Well, I mean, New Jersey it plays, I think, a central role uh, in uh, in the Arab American experience. Uh, certainly, uh, Jersey City right now is a is a haven uh, for the rich and uh, uh, for the rich cultural traditions of, of the Egyptians and Jordanians and and Palestinians who are coming in. But historically, Patterson, New Jersey, Hoboken, New Jersey, that's the home. You know, the, the, there were a lot of mills there. Right, and so there was a natural immigration pattern for people who came from Syria and Lebanon who worked in the textile mills mm -hmm. to come to Patterson, to come to Hoboken, to help work in those mills and build those industries. Sounds great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on. For more on this segment, log on to hipnewjersey.com.